exclamation, everybody, and welcome back, or welcome, <laughs> I should say, to Simple Rockets. Uh, I'm forgetting, this is a one-off here. Um, this is a game by uh, Jindru, 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 I think, <laughs> Jindru, Jindru, um, and it's, uh, it's, very, very similar in some ways uh, to Kerbal Space Program, only if you took Kerbal Space Program and you made it far more, if you if you dumbed it down quite a bit to someone of my level who is not a rocket scientist of any of any sort. Um, and obviously, uh, just from the UI here, you can see it's a mobile game. Uh, I am playing it on my PC, though. And it's uh, it's fully released. It's not uh, early access or anything like that. It's fully released on Steam right now. And I thought I, I've been playing around with it a little bit. As you can see, I've gone through a bunch of the training already. I've done a bunch of the challenges. These are pretty simple, you know, just getting you used to how to orbit and how to land and uh, how to fly low and get maximum thrust and all that stuff. So uh, I, I don't know. I might do one of these challenges. Yeah, Deorbit Satellite was pretty fun, actually. Um, I might do one of these challenges to show you what it's like. Um, probably do this one since I haven't done it yet. Or maybe one or two. Um, and then uh, we'll probably do the Sandbox. Uh, and I'll show you what that is. As you can see, they even have links here to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, and they heavily, heavily inspired by Kerbal Space Program. So, let's see. Let's do... Well, I could do advanced docking too, but I'm not even I'm not even that far along here. Let's try Escape Smurf. Uh, you might be wondering why why do all the plants have SM in front of them? Well, it's because they are in this particular game they are 10% of their normal size uh, from you know real life. Also, all the planets, even the gas giants, have a uh, have a surface on them just so that you can. Uh, launch from them and have the challenge of trying to launch from them as though they had a surface, even though they're gas giants. Uh, so let's see what this is. Launch from Smurf and achieve uh, escape velocity so that your orbit becomes hyperbolic. The level ends once you have Smurf's sphere of influence. Once you leave Smurf's sphere of influence, you must use less than 6,000 liters of fuel to win. Okay. So as you can see, we've already popped right into the into the rocket designing mode here. Some some of these challenges give you a rocket right off the bat and some require you to build one. And as you can see, it's a 2D game. It's not 3D like Kerbal Space Program. So it makes things a little bit easier, especially when you're trying to build a rocket and put things together here. So let's see, and of course it's a sandbox. So all the things are unlocked. You don't have to do any of the, you know, uh, career mode stuff that you have in, in Kerbal Space Program or anything like that. Um, so let's see, what does this got? I imagine he's got probably 6,000 liters in him. So we'll just put him here. All right, so we'll zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. I'm just dragging and dropping things as they go down. Obviously, these were meant for touch screens, so that's, that's, how, that's how it works. Um, and I'm guessing, let's see. You can actually launch satellites too. I haven't tried any of that yet. I haven't tried the sandbox mode yet, so I, I'm kind of interested in, in jumping into that. Um, we can grab, I guess, the Blasto engine. I uh, would like to... feel like we should have something that will allow us to get out there. Well, you know what? This will probably be enough. Uh, oh, they have wheels too and stuff? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, I guess that's for the, uh, um, the landing stuff. You can have a lander with wheels on it, I guess. Um... Let's try this one first. Let's not go too crazy here. Let's try this one first. And we'll see what happens. Um, there is also a staging, just like in Carl Space Program, you can have multiple stages and they all go off as you need them. Uh, I don't have anything that needs more than one stage, so we'll just leave that the way it is for now. Let's hit run here. As you can see, you just start out on the planet surface. And I'm supposed to use less than 6,000 liters of fuel. So we need to escape Smurfs. Sphere of influence. So I'll just hit. Uh, I'm going to use the keyboard for most of this. You can obviously, since it's made for touch screens controls, you can use the mouse to drag and forth, back and forth. It's a lot harder though. I prefer to use the keys for this, and I'll explain the keys as we go. So we uh, launching in spacebar as well as also uh, 
doing your activating your stages. So we shall. Oh wait, I forgot to. <laughs> that's not going to work too well. I forgot to throttle up, but I hit space already. Uh, throttle up. Throttle the maximum is one. There we go. That's working. X is to kill your throttle. And I want to make sure I don't use too much in the way of fuel here. So let's do tab. That brings up the map. You can see what we're doing as far as our apoapsis is concerned. And I want to probably tilt a little bit over here. And you hit enter and that will hold whatever angle or attempt to hold the angle that you're at. Alright, let's kill the engine right now since we're, our apoapsis is up here. We can click on that and it'll tell me how long it'll take to actually get to it. And obviously you want to do your burns at your apoapsis uh, or your periapsis as needed to uh, conserve as much fuel as you can. And as, as I mentioned earlier, all the plants here are 10% of, the si of their normal size. So that's why I'm already out into orbit pretty quickly here. Um, also with the engines off, you do not, you can't move at all. So that's why it's, this is my heading, direction of heading, and this is where I want it to be, but that's why those two haven't matched up quite yet. This is the retrograde, and this is prograde, um, so we know which way we're pointing and which way we need to go. And obviously, uh, hitting enter is what actually locked my, my heading to which way I wanted it to be, uh, which is very, very useful because if you don't do that, it does, you know, using A and D to maneuver, it will, because WASD does stuff here. Well, A and D at least does stuff here. Um, using A and D to maneuver, it will be very, very difficult to, to not, to like, it doesn't maneuver gracefully. It goes like several degrees at a time. So that's why I use enter a lot to lock the heading where I want to go. All right. So at first, first thing we want to do probably is to get into orbit. Although I guess I could have just kept on burning and, and, saw what it what it did for me but let's at least get into orbit first and then we'll see what happens also i can warp here we can fast forward and warp uh, which i probably should have been doing a little bit earlier once we get to within 30 seconds of where we want to be i will re-engage the engines so we're about one minute till the apoapsis so we'll go a little bit further here let's see if we can get this guy to click back in but what I'll do is I'll do a quick burn and in three two one now and hopefully not go beyond six thousand liters oh we're still getting <laughs> We're getting, we're getting close to it. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave the sphere of influence here or not, uh, given where we're at. You can also uh, warp uh, at several times speed. Right now we're doing 25 times speed. This goes up, uh, I think, quite a bit as well. And I want to again get to within 30 seconds of the apoapsis. So one minute coming up now. Let's just do a fast forward so I don't go beyond it. And we get 10 seconds and then we'll do another another quick burn here, hopefully. Maybe. Two, one, zero. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm not gonna be able to do it in the oh and I, I'm almost out of fuel too. <laughs> Well, that's a thing. So that that definitely was 6,000 liters of fuel, and I am almost out. So I might as well, I think I've, I've balls this one up. Yep, I'm out of fuel. All right, let's retry. All right, so I need to be a little bit more conservative on the fuel. So at the very least, we need to go full burn, uh, which I did one for that, just to get it to up into higher orbit, and then we'll try to conserve some fuel as much as we can so let's do a tab here get that little split view of the map and we'll hit space and we'll take off i want to make sure because as soon as my apoapsis gets beyond the um beyond the atmosphere there i want to i want to tilt over a little bit as well so 
Leave that right there. Okay, there we go. We're just slightly beyond. Oh, it, oh it's dropping back down again. It's dropping back down again, but I just wanted to get slightly beyond there. And then we'll, uh, yeah, it's start, starting to drop down a little bit because it's still got some atmospheric drag here. I want to get up to here and then I'll do another burn. All right. This one will just be like a, a smaller, smaller burn. In fact, I'm going a little bit early. That's okay. Do 40%. 40% here since we don't need that much. And slightly change my angle a little bit. And... Okay, oops, that's, that's where my shift is to go up 10% and control is to go down 10% as far as thrust goes. Alright, now we're getting a little bit more here. I have to, in order to zoom out, I have to use the mouse wheel. <laughs> so now we're getting a bit more room to maneuver. Let's go to 20% perhaps. And actually we can probably kill it because we still have a ways to go here. Alright, let's warp forward. And get to where we want to be. Right, 51, 40 seconds. Okay, and then we'll do another, we'll shift to forward a little bit. Four, three, two, and one, and now do 30% burn. See if that helps me get where I want to be. Uh, we're still, still running low on the fuel, though. Probably should consider... Let's do... Almost there. <laughs> We've got five liters left. Uh, and we are not... We have not left the sphere of influence yet. Probably should consider having some booster rockets, maybe? I don't know if that's going to... I don't know how much that's going to help, though. <laughs> I mean, I could just burn continuously. And let's go a little bit faster than that. Oops. I don't want to... I guess I could just burn continuously. It probably would be enough to get out of there. So, down to about here. And we'll just, we'll just do a full, full on burn here because we have no fuel left. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Okay. All right. So, let's try this again. Let's do, and, yeah, we're still not, this is not going to do, it's not going to do what I needed to do. I can just tell. I can just tell. Let's see. Did I get at least an orbit out of it? Yeah, I got an orbit out of it. So what we could do is try to burn again at the periapsis. And we'll stay, point it this way so we don't slow down. And see if that helps a little bit. So let's warp to there. All right. And because technically we'll be using the planet, right, to help slingshot us, maybe, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> don't know how these things work, honestly. So thirty seconds. We get the thirty seconds. I'll do full burn here. Do full burn. Oh no! I burned. I burned the wrong way, and I actually slowed it down. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize it. it, it I did, I forgot we flipped around the other way, so I accidentally flipped around the wrong way there. Well, <laughs> well, we'll, 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 we'll try that one some other day, I guess. Let's right now. Let's go and look at the at the sandbox here. There's also like skins you can do and simple planes. I, I guess that's something else that they've built, they've made. I haven't tried that. Uh, but let's go here. Let's go to sandbox. And let's see. Explore the smaller system, uh, which is scaled down version of our solar system. Everything is about 90% smaller than the real thing. 
select the planet you would like to launch uh, from and tap launch. So you can launch from wherever you want. You can launch from the Smurf, which I just did. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's let's go back for a second and let's look at that. You can launch from the Smurf. You can launch from uh, Smenos, <laughs> Smurkery, uh, the Smoon, Smars, Smoopiter, even though... Uh, it's a gas giant. We are pretending there's a surface to launch from, and it gives you all the gravity and everything else, so you have to overcome all of this with your rocket, which is the whole point of being able to launch from these gas giants is that they're probably the hardest thing to do since you got to overcome all that. You can also launch from Smars if we want it to. But I want to launch from Smurf, so let's do that. Let's launch, and of course we start out with our command module, and oops, that's not the one. I want to do plus here. All right, so let's do a let's do a proper thing here. Let's go and uh, do I have I have ooh, an ion engine really? Ooh, ooh, that's really nice. It'd be nice for for going beyond above and beyond. But let's just do let's do something in our own orbit. So let's say um, I want uh, I want RCS thrusters. Right, which I guess go. Oh, they go on the outside, huh? <laughs> the the white boxes are where you can attach it, so that that's not gonna quite work. Um, let's do. I need. Let's grab the the big big mother humper as far as tanks go, um, and then you can attach things to the sides of it. So we're going to attach our RCS thrusters there, or we're going to attach more tanks, which is what I kind of want to do. Um, so let's, uh, we got a side detacher. Let's put that there. Put another side detacher on this side. All right. And then we'll get ourselves some more fuel tanks. The big ones. Here. And another one on the other side. So might as well go all out on this one. Engines, I want to grab the blasto. I guess the yeah, I guess these are fine. Do the the heavy duty ones over here. And then I'd like to try out the ion engine in the center there. Just uh, I'm just curious as to how that works out. Um, and uh, landers and stuff would be cool but i can't i don't know how to do any of that yet <laughs> i don't know how to do any of that yet we have the side detachers uh we got struts i don't need uh i don't need landing struts right now i would like a docking plug um but i, I hmm, you would think there would be like there's satellites and stuff that you can do i guess you have to launch the satellite and i guess as you launch the satellite it would do all those other things. And where do you put the RCS thrusters at, though, with all that going on? That is my question. Like, can I just put the... I guess I put them on the sides? No, I would have to put them on, on the inside here, right? I would think. Because otherwise, they're not really going to help me that much. Because <laughs> those other things are going to get detached. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Is that actually... Is that... Attaching to the one I want it to. I don't think it is. I don't think it's attaching to the one I want it to attach to. Uh, which makes that a little bit rough. Isn't there anything else that we can, like? I feel like yeah, because there's solar panels. I feel like there would be a something I could put that on, right? We got nose cones, which would be nice for these, so they're a little bit more aerodynamic. Um, we'll need a, we'll need a parachute for this guy. Um, I wonder why I can't put, so how would I put, um, oh, here we go, fuselage. That's what I was looking for. Um, can I move this guy down? Yeah, here we go. Fuselage right there. Excellent. Now we can put our RCS thrusters on it. Uh, where's the other RCS thrusters? Thruster, blah, 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 blah. Where are you at? Oh, you know what? I should put the iron engine on that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move this guy up for a second. Put the iron engine 
here, but I, also, but I need to put a detachment thing. How would I do that? Uh, I can't do that because that wouldn't have any fuel. Um, do, 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 do. Where, where was my... Oh, here it is. RCS thruster here. And I want a... Really, I want the, I want this down here. Right, because I can't do anything with it um, once I'm ready to land. So I want to grab the detacher, put that over here, attach this to this, attach this back to here. Right, so that'll give me some maneuverability. Got the ion engine here. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how this how this works out. <laughs> we'll watch it watch it explode right on the right on the landing pad. Um, I don't know what these are. Uh, engines? Oh, they're engines. They're weird engines. I guess they're full engine. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Um, but the we got the blasto ones down here, right? Yeah, we got the blasto ones. All right, let's just let's just try this. What's what's the harm? What is the harm? Is what I say. Oh, actually, um, no, we gotta go back. Um, uh, switch ship. Uh, cancel. Oh, that's to switch to other things that are. On. Uh, no, I want to, uh, how do I go back to do my staging? Because I forgot to do the staging on here. I don't know if there is a back. Uh, go exit. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's, that works. Uh, I forgot to do all the staging here. So let's set this up. We want, uh, stage one to be these guys, right? Stage two is the side decouplers. Oh, good. They actually put them in the right staging thing. And then this guy. Right. And then stage four. No, we want stage five to be that. We want stage four to be this. All right. There we go. And then stage five is our parachute. Excellent. All right. Well, actually, it did it almost, almost perfectly. Very good. Okay. <laughs> here we here goes nothing. Away we go. Let's see where we're at here, as far as the map is concerned. Blasted through that rocket fuel like it's like there's no tomorrow there. I wonder if it's taking the fuel from the other ones as well. It'd be uh, rather catastrophic, wouldn't it? No, I think it's... I would imagine it's just taken from this stage. I would imagine. That that fuel gauge, that is, I should say. Alright, let's tilt our way over. Let's tilt the world a bit. Go right about here, say. Excellent. And then we can detach that guy. Hopefully without actually getting hit by it. Good. And I guess I can turn the ion engine on. Uh, maybe. Uh, or not. <laughs> that, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. And now I have completely balls this up. <laughs> uh, how, how, how do, how do ion, ion engines work? Um, yeah, I want to exit. Let's try again. That guy is still off doing his thing. <laughs> Easy or not, I will find a way to destroy all the things. Those rockets are going to come crashing back to the surface. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. All right, so we, we've thrown up and we'll go on, on our merry way here. And now that I know that it does work the way that I think it works, uh, we'll be able to do this a little bit better, hopefully. Okay. A little bit up there, and 
start to turn over I'd say right now like so I have turned over a bit too much but I'll try it here see what happens I'm just going to use all the fuel up while I'm still in the atmosphere from this stage okay and then we'll attach that stage so it falls back to back to earth or smurf as it were and then we can just i'm not going to turn the next stage on until oh, or i am going to turn the next stage on <laughs> i forgot hitting space again would do that but i want to wait until we get up to the apoapsis here which we're coming up on relatively quickly yep those two rockets just just crashed down <laughs> came crashing down Okay, so we want to go this way, and we want to do a one here. All right, this time we're burning at the correct moment, although we are a bit off kilter, it looks like. We're not really expanding that orbit as much as I would like us to, so let's turn this way a bit more. We're still falling. Our direction of travel is still downward. Uh, probably because we're coming around that side of the planet, I would say. So we might have to... Yeah, we have to alter our, alter our trajectory just a bit here. So that the orbit keeps on going forward, which is what it's doing now. Yeah, it's weird because you see the vapor trails. It's because it's it's just the way the game engine kind of works is that it's showing you the direction you're falling even though you're trying to get into orbit. It's based upon where the planet's going to be. You see your vapor trail and all that stuff. So I'm actually falling past the planet, but at the same time, it's uh, it's everything's kind of screwy here when you look at it. Alright, so if I tilt back over this way again, are we going to... Yes, now it's... Now it's expanding our orbit a lot faster. There we go. I might have... Might have run out of engine power a little bit too fast there. Alright, we're getting a bit of a parabola here, which is not what I want. Let's, uh... Let's cut that and we'll wait until we get around to here again. And then we'll burn again, this time making sure to burn in the direction of travel. All right, which is this way, down here. Oh, that's, yeah, okay. One, that way please. Right there. And now we have a periapsis. All right. And cut the engines. All right, so now we've got ourselves in orbit. So what is this? Uh, we've got uh, 253 kilometers here and 186 kilometers there. So we can actually make that, uh, expand that just a tad. So it's an even orbit. Do that in a minute here. See, that's the thing that keeps throwing me off is that as, as we fall around the planet, the direction of travel keeps changing, even though technically speaking, it really shouldn't be. Um, but it is, because, you know, there we go, 238, 254, that's pretty good. <laughs> good enough for government work, I would say. All right, yeah, as you can see, we're already, like, we're tilting over as the, as we move around here. Um, and then, uh, I will burn towards, burn, uh, retro, retrograde. To make my orbit decay. Uh, let's see. We want to be... Enter. Where do we want to be? We want to be this way. We want to be facing this way when we start the engines. Alright. So we'll go forward just a little bit. And... 
Now we should be able to do a full thrust, full burn, I mean. And this should reduce our... Yep, it's reducing our orbit. And I'm just going to burn until all the fuel is gone. I think. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I'll just kill this stage and then we'll fall back to Earth and then we'll call it a successful first attempt at sandbox mission, perhaps. Uh, yeah, it's still reducing. My speed is still going down. Very good. Make sure that we're still facing the that way so our speed continues to reduce. And we got we got a hell of a lot of fuel in there. <laughs> I got a really tiny engine trying to trying to slow this puppy down here. Let's uh, fast forward a bit. Go through all the rest of this fuel. Oh, somehow something happened there. <laughs> I invert it somehow. I don't know how I invert it, but I did. <laughs> but we're still we're still falling down to the earth so let's uh kill that stage there we go all right and then we can just warp turn the engines off to warp okay we'll warp at 25 times right now back into the atmosphere we shall go there we go back to normal speed and where are we at 40 39 38 okay we'll wait until we get under 25 and then I'll deploy the parachute like right now. There we go. And that should slow us down, hopefully. We're slowing down. Slowly but surely. <laughs> uh perhaps not fast enough though. Uh, slow slow down, please. Slow down. <laughs> We're getting down low. <laughs> Six thousand, five thousand. At some point this should deploy. Maybe I deployed a little bit too early. I don't know. I mean, it's we're slowing down, that's for sure. There we go. Now we're going only four meters uh, per second, which should be a nice survivable, survival gentle landing, hopefully. And I guess this is the part where I was. This is where I, what I was talking about as far as it. It looks kind of weird. Let's uh, get rid of that. Um, your view doesn't actually change, <laughs> so. Uh, when you land on a planet on the side like this, that's why all these other arrows kept changing all the time is because your view uh, to those arrows doesn't change. It's based on the world view. So uh, you'll see that as we land here, eventually, uh, let's fast forward a little bit. As we land, we'll land uh, on the side of the, of the planet. So 400 meters. Ah, here we go. There we go. Now we're back to normal speed. Here's, here's some land. Some nice, gentle gentle slopes to plant ourselves on and any day now <laughs> should just kept it fast forwarded we will we will touch down hopefully soon and there we go successful a successful launch and landing we went into orbit we did all the things i did that far easier than i did it took me it took me two it took me what four hours of Three hours of Kerbal Space Program before I could actually get into orbit and and then land safely. So yeah, I'd say I'd say that was a successful um, successful mission. So let's exit that guy. All right, and I guess we can exit out back to the menu again. So that that has been my look at Simple Rockets. You can go pick it up on Steam. It's it's actually not that expensive from what i remember um it's also as you can see from you know the ui and stuff a mobile game it's a mobile port to pc um it's uh, it's it's a little bit of fun it's it's not one of those things where you can just sort of very casually just launch some rockets make them crash into worlds it's got so it's got a landing a lander which i haven't done yet it has some satellite stuff which actually i could do really fast here it's one of these here uh, you can see, uh, let's do, 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 which one did I do already? Uh, uh, somewhere here, uh, deorbit satellite. Here you go. So what you can do here, and I'll just show it real fast. I won't do the full landing. 
But what you can see here is you've got, and see this guy's got RCS, so I don't know how they, how did they attach that? Where did they attach it to? Oh, it looks like there's some kind of fuel for, ooh, okay. Well, that explains it. That explains why I couldn't do it. Um, but here with the RCS thrusters, I can move forward and back and I can tilt left and right, which I shouldn't have done because now it's, now I'm way off course. <laughs> uh, but the idea is, and actually, I, I, let's just, <laughs> let's try this again. <laughs> I was completely lined up. It even said it there, and I still changed the direction of it. But you can see here, uh, you can go and dock with satellites. You can launch satellites. Um, and then this guy should be able to... There we go. It just automatically docks. And then I've got solar power now coming out of that, which I don't know how you... Oh, you can turn those on and off. Okay. Um, and then the idea of this one was to... Basically, spin yourself around retrograde here and deorbit this satellite. So, if I spin around this away and I hit enter right about there, all right? And then all we gotta do is just hit one and just deorbit this puppy. Where are we at as far as as far as our orbit goes? Almost. Well, I probably should have waited. Oh well. I should have waited until I was at an apoapsis or at the periapsis. Um, but either way, either way, we are we are deorbiting this this puppy here. So there you go, and that's all it takes. And then we can just just fast forward here, and then you'll see that it just deorbits just like you would just like you would imagine it would. And at some point, it'll tell me congratulations. Uh, you've done it. <laughs> I think it actually said in the in the instructions that you don't have to actually land. You just have to, you just have to at least get it, get it out of the sky. So well, there you go. Oh, actually, I have parachutes. That's right. I forgot. I do have parachutes. Never mind. So there you go. It'll it'll land eventually. Which this is what I should have did last time because <laughs> it actually <laughs> actually got me down a lot further, a lot faster. But yeah, this will land successfully, and I did it with uh, using only 1,353 liters of fuel, and there you go. And that was slightly slightly worse than what I did three days ago when I tried this. But there you go. That's you got satellites in there you can launch, and various other things. Go visit all the planets in the smaller system, and I'm sure you can do a bunch of other things with it that I haven't even touched upon. But that has been my look at Simple Rockets. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.